The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 6th Canto, 1st Chapter, Text Number 39, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on June 5th, 1976, in Los Angeles. So, challenge your reply that you are representing dharma, dharma Raj. So, you have come here to take away this person, uh, and we are prohibiting. So you have challenged us. So first of all, explain your position, whether you know what is dharma and what is adharma, who is punishable, under what circumstance one is punished, uh, and one who is punished, where does he go? Actually, all these descriptions are there in the Srimad Bhagavatam, different types of hellish life, uh, what kind of sinful activities are punished by, uh, what kind of hellish condition, everything is there. In the fifth canto, everything is there. There are different planets uh, where Jamraj is there, how a dead man or the soul is taken there, in the path, everything in detail is there. If you say it is mythology, eh? The, why you should say mythology? You have not seen the whole universe, how it is situated. You are simply imagining from this place. So your imagination, imaginology, and we have our mythology. So we have got some evidence, but you have no evidence. At least we have got some support of the book. But what you have got? You are simply imagining. I think. I believe. What is your nonsense? What is your proof? Everyone is saying, I believe. Hundreds and thousands are what is correct. Everyone, at least we have got something correct. Uh, we don't say, I believe. This is not our process of knowledge. We, Krishna conscious person, we never say, I believe. No. We immediately quote from this Shastra. So here is the statement. Uh, Suti Praman, according to Vedic civilization, evidence is Suti, Veda. If you say something and if you give evidence, proof from the Vedic literature, then it is perfect. No such nonsense thing. I believe, we believe. Perhaps, maybe, no. Such foolish things are not accepted. <coughs> then everyone will say something. There are thousands and millions of people, everyone will imagine something and say something, then where is the correct thing? This is not. So, Veda uh, <coughs> Pramana, that will be described in the next verse. Veda pranihita dharma. Veda pranihita. What is explained in the Veda? That is dharma. Now you cannot manufacture dharma. If it is mentioned in the Vedas, what is dharma, what is all dharma, then it is accepted. I have several times explained that you cannot make law in your comfortable home. No. Law is made by the government, and you have to accept. You cannot say that I believe this will be law. We will care for your law. You may believe. You believe me at your home. That will not be accepted. The law given by the government keep to the right, but you must not. You cannot say, I believe 
left hand, no, that is not. Similarly, uh, Dharmastha, it will be explained further. So, what is Dharma? Religion. In the dictionary, English dictionary, it is explained a kind of faith. But we do not take in that way. Faith, you have got different faith, I have got different faith. How it will be dharma? The same example. If you have different faith that you do not accept this government law, that will not do. You may have faith or no faith, but you have to accept. That is dharma. That is dharma. So they very particularly analyze dharma. Dharma means, I have given a translation in many places, occupational duty. Everyone is fit for certain occupation. And the duty asserted for such occupation, that is dharma. Natural. Or in one word it can be explained as characteristic. So just like a chemical, it has got some characteristic in the chemical analytical book that takes soda vaika. The characteristic it is taste like this, the color is like this, like this, so many things. So uh, dharma means character. So what is the dharma of the living entity? We are all living entities. What is the dharma? What is the characteristic? Common. Not that because I am Hindu, my characteristic is different from your characteristic. As living being, our characteristic is the same. Either you are Hindu or Muslim or Christian or white or black, never mind. What is that characteristic? That characteristic to serve. Uh, the inferior must serve to the superior. That's all. This is character. Find out all over the world, all over the universe. The service, uh, that is explained by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Jiver Sarupai Nitta Krishna Da. That is his real characteristic. He is eternal servant of God or Krishna. This is character. So if you don't serve God, then you have to serve dog. But you have to serve. You see practically. So many godless persons. They have no family, uh, no affection, no position, no home, nothing, but he still he keeps a dog to serve. This is the character. Because he has nothing to serve, he has no wife, no children, no nothing. So he must have somebody, keep a dog. Just see practically. Huh? You cannot avoid service. That is your characteristic. If you don't serve God, then you have to serve dog. Now make your choice. Whether you shall spoil your life by serving dog and become next life a dog, and by serving God, you next life will become a God. Make your choice. This is Krishna consciousness. Uh, if you want to become a dog next life, that is must. Jangjagabhapis mananam havang tajatvanti kalevaram. At the time of death, if you are affectionate to the dog, naturally you will think of dog. And your soul will be transferred in the womb of a dog. This is natural way. And Similarly, if you practice to love God in this life, at the time of death, naturally you will think of God, then next life. Taktadehaṁ punarajānmanāyati. 
मामेति एक्सप्लेन एवरी वन हैज टू गिव अप दिस बॉडी बट ई एट द टाइम ऑफ क्विटिंग दिस बॉडी यू थिंक ऑफ कृष्णा इमीजिएटली यू गो बैक टू होम बैक टू गॉड एड कृष्णा दिस इज अपॉर्चुनिटी इफ यू आस्क अपोर्स एनी वन हुई इज डिजायर हम गोइंग बैक टू होम बैक टू गॉड एड He knows everything about this. Neither is why he should be eager. Ah, so Krishna is always joyful. Ah, Krishna is always joyful. That just like see before you, Krishna is joyfully accepting to be bound up by his mother. He is supreme Lord. Nobody can chastise him, but he is taking pleasure. How my mother chastises me! This is also another pleasure. Uh, just like a very rich man, he always eats very nice food stuff. Uh, so sometimes he wants. Uh, can you give me a little pup rice? A pup rice is not very valuable food, but he likes. Ah, this is change of variety of enjoyment. So everyone worships God, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. So therefore, God sometimes wants that who will chastise me. He selects one of his devotees, first class devotee. You become my father, you become my mother, and you chastise. This is God's pleasure. Ah, Ananda Maya Bhyasa. Ah, then that is God. Ah, Ananda. That is Ananda. Ah, here Mother Jasoda is going to bind Krishna. It is not his displeasure. He is not unhappy. He is feeling happy. Ah, that is Krishna. Ah, so in this way. We have to understand Krishna thoroughly, and if you simply understand thoroughly Krishna, you are liberated. You are liberated. Janma karma chame di bam ju jana thi tattva. One may question that they may neglect that if Krishna is God, why Madhav Jasoda is binding him? But he does not know that is a pleasure. That is a place. Uh, there are many instances. Uh, I will cite one instance that there was a big prime minister in England, uh, Gladstone. Perhaps you have heard the name, Queen Victoria's prime minister. So somebody came to see him, and the servant informed him. That the prime minister is little busy. You wait. So long he was waiting. One hour passed, and he still no message. Then he opened the door. He wanted to see what the prime minister is doing. He saw the prime minister has become a horse, and his grandchildren driving. <laughs> That is enjoyment. He is the prime minister, but he has become a horse of his grandchild. <laughs> this is the position. There are different types of it. When there is battle field, uh, uh, Krishna said that I not fight, Arjuna. Although I shall be on your side, but don't expect that I shall fight. Because it is between your brothers, both of you are my relatives. I will not fight. So Arjun accepted. Yes, I, you don't fight. Uh, uh, so any way you like, you can help me. So he said, "All right, I shall become your chariot. I shall drive your chariot." So that's all right. Whatever you like. This was the agreement. So uh, Durjadhan complained to Bhishma Dev. 
that the Arjun is your pet grandchild. You are not fighting wholeheartedly. So he began to criticize him. He was also grandchild. So Vishnu's devs saw that Dujadhan is uh, thinking that I am inclined I'm to Arjun. I am not fighting properly. So he said, all right, tomorrow I shall finish Arjun. Tomorrow I shall fight in such a way either Arjun has to die or his friend who has promised not to fight, he has to fight. Otherwise there is no escape of Arjun. So Arjun, Dujyadana uh, became very satisfied and uh, Bhishma was a great hero. Uh, he was not an ordinary hero. See, he fought in such a way that Arjun's chariot became broken and he became fainted and so on, so on. Then Krishna saw that my friend is going to die. So he became very angry and uh, he was coming with, a, with the chariot wheel to kill uh, Bhishma Dev and Bhishma Dev was piercing his body with arrows like anything. Uh, so Krishna was feeling very satisfaction because Bhishma is also a great devotee. Uh, so when Krishna came before Bhishma then, uh, then now I shall kill you. Uh, you are doing too much. Uh, so he immediately left. But that was my promise, that either you have to fight or your friend will be killed. So these are the transactions between devotee and God. Uh, generally people cannot understand. Uh, but if one understands, he becomes devoted. If somewhere or other, it's not very difficult, simply we have to associate with devotees and discuss this literature. Then we will understand. Krishna, very easy. Uh, and Krishna is explaining in the Bhagavad Gita about himself. In the seventh chapter, Krishna says, Maya Sakta Mana Pratha Jugam Junyana Madasraya Asangsayam Samagrangma Jathagasya Sri Tachinu. Krishna is offering that Samagram, someone in fullness. Uh, completely, as you can understand me, I am speaking to you, asaṅsaṁ, without any doubt. Uh, doubt, that may be, because God is great, we are very small. How we can understand God? Uh, there is always some doubt, whether it is personal, impersonal, all pervading. There are so many different conceptions of God. but. Therefore, God Himself says, Asamsayam, without any doubt, and Samagram, complete. Asamsayam, Samagram, Maam, Jathagasya Sri Tatsino. We just like to study a subject matter. It takes some time, uh, takes little endeavor to associate with person who knows the thing rightly. In this way we can understand God also. Just like we understand so many science, so many arts by patience, eh? then that is Rupa Goswami's advice. Eh? Nishyat dhajya. Nishyat dhajya. Dhajya means patience. Eh? You have to learn patiently. Nitya dhaisya, tattva karma pravartana, sato vitti sadhu sange saravi bhakti prasityati. So, uh, if we follow the instruction, tattva karma pravartana, as it is prescribed in the shastra, as it is instructed 
like the spiritual master. You have to learn everything through the spiritual master. Uh, you cannot understand directly. That is not possible. Uh, just like if you purchase one medical book and read at home, you cannot become dark. Medical. You have to go through the medical college and profession. Similarly, the Shastra says, Tadvigyana Thamsa Guru Meva Abhigatsit. If you want to learn the transcendental science, you must go through the bona fide Guru. And Krishna also says, in the, this is Vedic injunction, Krishna also says in the Bhagavad Gita, Tadvidhi Panipatena Pariprasnena Sevaya. Upadakshanti tad jnanam jnanina tad tad darishina. One has to approach a person who has seen God. Tad tad darishina. How God can be seen? Tad tad darishina. Tad tad darishina. One who knows the truth. Truth means how to see. Pashanti jnana chakrusha. By the eyes of knowledge. Pashanti jnana chakrusha. Shastra chakrusha. Not that if somebody challenges, let's say, have you seen God? Yes, I have seen. How? Through Shastra. Through Shastra. Ah. God reveals. You cannot see. Him, God comes before you. Just like Krishna was, here is God before you. But you cannot understand. Unless we are advanced in Krishna consciousness, uh, we think, what is this? A statue of stone? And he's God? Yes, he's God. Otherwise, why we are spending so much money, wasting time? No, here is God. Uh, but how you can see God? Premaan yanakshurita bhakti vilotana. You have to make the eyes to see God. Otherwise, God is everywhere. Uh, so we may ask that if God is everywhere, why you are uh, worshipping an idol? Not idol, he is God, but he is seeing idol. Uh, unless he has developed love for God, uh, he cannot see. Uh, but it is, God is there, but because in our eyes cannot see the spirit at the present moment, our dull material eyes, just like you are spirit soul, I am spirit soul, your father is spirit soul, your mother is spirit soul, but are you seeing the spirit soul? When the spirit soul goes away, you are crying, my father is gone. Why father is gone? He's lying on the bed. You have seen the coat, pants, hands, legs, that is there. Why you say gone? Uh, no, he is gone. So we cannot see the spirit soul even of our father and mother. How can we see God, the Supreme Spirit? Therefore, God comes before you just like stone which you can see. It is to favor you. God is everything. So in this way we have to understand God, Krishna. And if anyone understand, then he becomes immediately fit for going back to home, back to God. Tattade haṁ punat janma naiti māme iti kaunte janma karma samedi bhaṁ jo jānāti tattva. So, uh, therefore, we require uh, uh, good association. Ādhu sadhyā tato sādhu saṅga ato bhajana kriyā tato anatha nivittisya Tatu nishtha, tatu ruchi, tatu bhava, sadhaka nama yam prim na pradu You cannot develop love of God in one second. You can, provided you are so sincere and God is very much pleased upon you. He can give you, He can give you immediately. Uh, that is possible. But that may be some rare cases. Ordinarily, this is the process. Sadhu sadhya tatu sadhu sangha. It's like we have come here in this temple, you have got some faith, all of us. That is called sadhya, adu sadhya. There are many hundred thousand in this quarter. Why they are not coming? Uh, this is the beginning. 
you have got some faith, Sudha. You have come. Adho Sudha, Tatu Sadhu Sangha. And if you continue what we are doing, we are making the association to take lessons from these Vedic literature. This is called Sadhu Sangha. In the drinking shop, we make one kind of association. In the restaurant, we make one association. In the club, we make some association, different places. So here is a place. Here is also association. It is called Sadhu Sangha. Association with devotees. Adhu Sadhya Tato Sadhu Sangha. And if one is mature, then he wants to execute devotional service, bhajana kriya. And as soon as there is bhajana kriya, the unnecessary nonsense things will disappear. No more illicit sex, no more intoxication, no more drinking, no more gambling. Finished. When anathanivitti says all these rascal habits are gone, then nishtha, then pawn play, uh, not to be agitated. Uh, nishtha, tatu ruchi, then taste. You cannot live outside this camp. Taste has changed. Uh, tatu nishtha, tatu ruchi, uh, tatha sakti, then attraction, then bhava. Bhava means ecstasy. Uh, then there is love. There are different states. Uh, so this real religion is love, how to love God. That is the thing. Uh, dharma. Hmm. So jatu bhakti dharma. So we bhum chan paro dharma. There are different kinds of dharma religious system. But real religious system means how we have learned to love God. That's all. Nothing more. No ritualistic ceremony. No formula. Nothing. If your heart is always crying for God, that is perfect religion. That is perfect religion. That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sunna idam jagat sarvam. Oh, without Krishna I am feeling the whole world is vacant. Vacant. So we have to come to that state. Uh, of course, it is not possible for uh, all of us, but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu showed us how to become highest religious person. That is, to feel always, oh, without Krishna, everything is better. Sunna itam jagat sarvam govinda virahena me. That is dharma. That is dharma. So the Vishnu Dutta is tasting. These Jamadutas, whether, whether he understands what is the meaning of dharma. Uh, dharma we cannot create. Dharma is neither Hindu dharma, Muslim dharma, Christian dharma, this dharma, that dharma. Uh, they may be some, uh, I mean, sectarian understanding, but real dharma means a how we have learned to love God. Thank you. <laughs>